A big welcome to Oconomowoc artist Ben Otten. Thank you for joining us here on the Arts Page. I am Sandy Max, and congratulations on being the Arts 64 2022 champion, taking home the grand prize of $20,000. How did it feel in the moment to win Arts 64? Oh, man. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, hard to put into words, to be honest with you. Uh, there were just tons and tons of awesome artists there, great talent. Um, you know, to be able to go through all four rounds and, and ultimately come on top was uh, a bit shocking. I'm still trying to let it sink in, to be honest with you, but obviously just overwhelming um, to, to be able to, to be there and come out on top, so. Did you feel confident going into the event? Like, what was your game plan? Did you did you enter going, I can nail this, or it'll just be kind of fun? Um, a little bit of both, I guess, yeah. So I, I, I definitely had a, a game plan, I guess you could say, for the first two rounds at least, uh, just because it was split between the two days. Um, so I had a, an idea of what I wanted to do um, for the first day, Friday. Um, but then it's it's really just a matter of, of getting into it and, and making some of those plans come to fruition. So um, after that, it was kind of just winging it a little bit. Um, but, you know, I I didn't really, since it's the first, it was the first of its kind. Um, so nobody had really done it before. And so I didn't really know, like, who was going to be painting what and, you know, all the different mediums and materials and, and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of just went in. Um, you know, with, with my bag of tools and, and just attacked it, so. Now, Ben, can you explain to us what kind of art is your favorite medium? What's a little bit about your background and are you a mainly plain air painter or what, what are some of your favorite mediums to work in? Yeah, so a great question. Um, so I, I went to school for architecture actually at UWM. Um, I had always been um, surrounded by the arts. Uh, my grandmother was actually a watercolor artist. Um, so I was always exposed to the medium um, ever since I was growing up. Uh, didn't obviously pursue that fully. Um, like I mentioned, I went to school for architecture. So a lot of my subject matter uh, does portray some sort of architecture or landscape, um, seascape land, uh, uh, or um, cityscape, if you will. Um, but predominantly, mostly always working in watercolor. Um, I've dabbled with some other uh, mediums, but um, like I mentioned, my grandmother was a watercolor artist, so it's, it's kind of near and dear to the heart. So ever since I picked up a brush, that was kind of the medium I wanted to pursue. So uh, yeah, that was kind of the reasoning for, for watercolor. To carry on your grandmother's DNA and that heritage, that must make you very proud. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it, it's something you don't really realize uh, while it's happening, but being able to look back and just, I mean, obviously we have tons of her paintings uh, in the family. Uh, she's very well known uh, around Oconomowoc um, and the Lake Country area just because she exhibited her work. She did a lot of art fairs. Um, so to be able to have that conversation with other people and, and really follow after um, you know, the generational watercolor artist is, is um, you know, leaves you a little speechless sometimes. Now, sometimes creative people, they look for a challenge. So what was your feeling when you first heard about Art 64? Uh, you know, I, I, I don't usually do um, plein air competitions. Uh, I kind of do a mix. So um, a lot of times what I do is when I travel, uh, I'll take pictures, reference photos, you know, maybe do a quick sketch uh, on site or location to get an idea or feel um, of something that I might want to take back into the studio. Uh, but predominantly, um, I would do a lot of work in the studio um, and then showcase at festivals, um, art shows, and, and things of that nature. Um, so, yeah, it, it's kind of one of those things where uh, this was a totally different event for me. Um, just especially with the amount of people walking around. Um, everybody was very considerate and nice and, and try not to bother you, obviously, because we were all, um, you know, dealing with the time constraint and so forth. But yeah, this was a bit of a, a different event for me. So I kind of had to take some of that and, and just run with it as we went through the, the whole weekend. 
What was the most appealing thing about Art 64? What tipped you in and made you go, okay, I got to be part of this? Um, you know, obviously, can't can't lie, that grand prize uh, kind of made the, <laughs> you know, made everybody look a little bit harder. Um, but it was just a fun new event that was happening right, right basically in my backyard. Um, didn't have to travel far for it. Um, you know, they gave us uh, plenty of time. I mean, uh, obviously, just some of the, uh, you know, constraints with the past couple of years because the event was actually supposed to happen back in 2020. So when we applied to this, it was 2019 um, for the following uh, year. And so then obviously with the pandemic and, and just trying to organize an event of this scale took quite a bit of rework and organization. So I, I definitely tip my hat off to Milwaukee for, for staying after that and ultimately, you know, putting on just a, a, a one heck of a, an event that weekend. So. How did the pause of the pandemic affect your creativity and how you approach your art? Uh, you know, honestly, it just gave me more time uh, to just dial in on some paintings. Obviously, everybody was kind of looking for stuff to do. Um, and, and so it allowed me to get back in the studio, kind of work on some, some new stuff that, you know, maybe I was interested in and hadn't really had time to explore yet. Um, but just stayed after it. Uh, you know, they, they kept in touch pretty much throughout the, the entire process and just made sure, you know, who was interested, if they were still going to plan on, on coming and all that. So uh, very proactive throughout, throughout the, you know, two, three year span it took to plan the event. Now, Ben, other than the $20,000 grand prize that you won, what else did you take away from your Art 64 experience? Uh, that I want to do more plein air painting. Uh, you know, like I mentioned, uh, a lot of my work previously has been in the studio and then I take it somewhere and display and show uh, in some nature. Um, this was just so uh, thrilling, uh, basically, to be able to just be on site, interact with people, um, paint live for people. Uh, you know, like I mentioned, that time constraint kind of threw an, an extra um, aspect of, of the whole thing and, and so just the intensity was awesome you know being able to act, interact with other artists you know obviously it was a bracket style um, so leading up to the actual okay here's your 60 minutes go for it uh, you had time to interact with you know your partner or whoever you're going up against and it was fun just to see where other artists were from um, all the different styles and, and talents that were around. So it was it was a very fun, fun aspect. So since I've actually been looking into uh, some alternative events and, and different plein air stuff, so hopefully um, I can nail some of those down in, in the future. Well, we'll definitely keep an eye out for you in the future, Mr. Ben Otten. Uh, do you have any, yes. any specific plans other than looking for these types of competitions to participate in? Uh, you know, I've got a couple other events coming up this summer. Um, in the third week uh, in August, actually, um, it's the Oconomowoc Festival of the Arts. Um, so that's kind of my, my hometown event that I look forward to every year. Uh, as I mentioned before, my grandmother was an artist, so she was actually one of the founding artists that uh, helped get this event kicked off way back when. Um, so again, very near and dear to the heart. So looking forward to that one coming up in uh, a, a few weeks here. Other than that, um, just kind of staying busy with work this summer and, and paint as much as I can. I've got a couple of fairly large commissions that I'm working on um, around the area as well, but hoping things can uh, maybe kind of settle down a little bit in fall and, and maybe get some time to take off and, and hit the road, find some areas to go collect my photos and, and paint and just kind of explore the next chapter of, of my work would be really fun. Well, Ben, thank you very much for chatting with us today. Congratulations from everyone here at the Arts Page for being the very first Art 64 <laughs> Grand Champion. Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Again, I seriously appreciate you reaching out and having me on today.